my name is Maria and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really special um, dish from pre-Columbian era and they're called arepas and I'm going to show you to make arepas con queso which is arepas with cheese and they are super easy to make, really healthy and um, delicious. I mean just so delicious. These are not anything like tortillas and so the masa that, or the cornmeal that you buy for tortillas um, is not something you can use for this. You have to buy a specific type of cornmeal and it needs to be pre-cooked cornmeal. You can use this brand pan or you can even use what um, I've seen in the stores called masa arepa and so these are a little bit finer cornmeal it's pre-cooked and so you don't really um, have to do much with it you just need to make sure you have the right kind and I am gonna make um, about 12 of these the kind of depending on the size of the arepas is how many you can get out of two cups and so if you get a bag like this with fun which is um, like two pounds a little over two pounds that is about six cups of um, masa here and so I put two cups into my bowl my mixing bowl so there's two cups of my masa arepa I am going to put a tablespoon of chicken broth and you don't have to use chicken broth if you don't want to um, you can use salt instead and it's but you do need a little um, and chicken broth has a lot of salt in it so you don't need to add salt if you use the chicken broth. And then I'm just mixing it up and then I am going to add two cups of hot water. And this water was boiling. And so I'm just gonna pour that in and then mix it up. And so this is gonna give me a nice dough to work with. So I'm gonna mix all of that up and boy, you can already smell the chicken broth and everything really well right now so it is nice and soft and to be honest with you I mean it even looks different from the masa you would use for um, tortillas when it's all um, in the bowl like this and wet it really looks to me more like um, cream of wheat <laughs> like a thick cream of wheat so I've got that really well mixed now and so my next step is going to be to let it sit and cover it. And so I'm covering it in plastic. Now you can put it in, you can put the whole thing in a plastic bag if you want, um, but it needs to be covered. And I'm gonna put a little tea towel on top of it as well and just cover it up. And I'm gonna wait 15 minutes. So waiting 15 minutes kind of gives it um, time to kind of reconstitute with the water and it'll be nice and a little bit cooler also to handle. So in about 15 minutes, you'll see what it looks like. All right, so it's been 15 minutes that I've had um, my masa covered. And so now I'm gonna put a cup of cheese and the cheese I'm using is mozzarella cheese. And so now I'm just going to mix it all together and I might actually just use my hand at this point. And so I'm just gonna mix that cheese in there and you don't have to put cheese in, you can just have them plain. Um, so you don't have to have cheese, um, but hey, I love cheese so that's why I'm using it and then there I've seen different ways that people have used the cheese um, in the arepas and so I just the recipe I got was from um, a friend from Colombia and she said to just go ahead and put the cheese in there and it tastes wonderful so I'm not gonna argue with that but I did see some people 
would take their arepa and you're gonna make a little ball just like you would with the tortilla you make a little ball and then you kind of flatten it out with your hand and then I've seen people like put the cheese on top and then make the ball again and so you can do that try that if you want see what happens but um, I kind of really like it just the way um, my friend told me so here I've got my ball of masa for the arepa and I'm just going to use my hand to flatten it out and I don't want it too flat because I kind of like them fat and when you have them fat they're kind of um, really soft on the inside and it tastes really good so this one is actually even thinner than what I what I like but actually they're all good it, experiment check it out so I'm going to put it on a hot pet griddle and so it's you're not deep frying it in Venezuela they do deep fry in Colombia they don't fry it and so it's more like it's just baked on a kind of like pancakes or a tortilla because you don't deep fry your tortillas when you're just making them from the masa um, and so here I'm going to make this one a little fatter and you want it to be about like five minutes per side you can add it a little more time if you feel or a little less time it just kind of depends on what your preference is and they are supposed to be toasty on the outside and soft on the inside and so, and I kind of like my arepa small. And so you could even buy from Amazon or from Target, whatever store you go to, Walmart I think has them, where you can buy an arepa maker. So you do everything you just did here, where you have your two cups of arepa masa, and then you have two cups of hot water, a tablespoon of salt, or chicken broth like I did. Um, if you want to add butter, you can, but it's not really need, necessary. They don't need it. And um, once you have that, then you put it in a little griddle that's an arepa maker. So it has like six, six areas, and then you just stick your little ball in there. You still kind of have to flatten it out and put it in, and then you bake it just like that. Just kind of like a little waffle maker, but it's for arepas. So I'm going to cook these a little bit longer and then I'm going to show you the results. So hold on just a sec. All right, so the arepas have been cooking. They've had about five minutes on each side and I'm going to show you what they look like. So here it is. Here's my flat arepa that I made and then here is one that's a little bit um, chubbier, I guess you could say. And so the idea is with these arepas, if you wanna just eat them like that, you can. Um, you could put a little bit of butter on there and some salt and it would be really tasty, tastes like heaven. And then um, another thing you can do is you can fill your arepas. You can get a knife, cut, um, cut one and make a little pocket and then you can stuff it with whatever you want. So you can put ham and cheese, you can put um, a ground beef mixture, uh, whatever you know you have handy or whatever you want to try is going to be delicious because these are actually very um, simple to make and the taste is not overpowering but um, anything you put add to this is going to be really good and if you don't want to add anything just like this is perfect and I, I even you could make them on any size so these are my big ones which are not really that big and then I made a little bit of some baby ones and you you can make them whatever size you want I went to um, a Venezuelan restaurant and my dog is now interested in the arepas now that they're ready um, that's what you're seeing or hearing underneath but it was pretty much um, the Venezuelan restaurant had them and they were about this big. They were huge and they were stuffed and they were delicious. 
And so um, try it out. Give arepas a try because they are um, healthy, easy to make, and delicious. And I can't believe it took me this long to, to really learn how to make them because I will be making them now forever because they are awesome. So I hope you give them a try, enjoy them, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.